Okay, so the catalyst for the change was the first was the recognising that the university sector and the, um, uh, what was the, the college sector uh, didn't need to be separate and if they came together it would be stronger. But because of the change to colleges becoming universities, as occurring at roughly the same time, there was the move to turn what was a TESA and the Australian University Sports Federation into one body. And so in 92, forming it as a single body, uh, become the uh, priority and then at the same time launching a new product and the concept of a, a games was born and initially the games was about the summer games and the winter games. I was very fortunate enough to, to be at the athletics when uh, Patrick Johnson ran in the um, semi-final and uh, of the 100 metres and um, I was actually talking to some students and we all looked up and this flash went past and someone said, oh yeah, he was playing touch yesterday and they convinced him to run in the 100 metres and he probably won his heat by about five metres and uh, we all made a, a pact to get back for the final and sure enough he took out the, the, the 100 metre final and I think that was sort of the beginning of his career and even then you could see that he clearly had a lot of natural pace and uh, it was just really exciting to see someone at the beginning of their, you know, realising their sporting potential and I think that's what the, the Games did for, for, for Patrick, I think. I think the first time we competed at Perth um, the students were telling me they couldn't afford to go because it was, the airfares were too expensive. So we made a joint decision to go by coach. Um, we had two coaches, two drivers on each one, 48 hours non-stop across the Nullarbor. And one experience that really sticks in my mind is after we left Sejuna, um, we were lining up for breakfast and the driver phoned a roadhouse and said, I've got two coachfuls of 18 to 24 year olds, can you feed us breakfast? Not a problem, we got there, they had one staff member on. So Jerry just looked at me and said, Gene, we can cook. And I said, yep. So he and I did bacon and eggs, the other two drivers did toast, etc. And the staff member took the, phone, the, the money. <laughs> Effectively, um, our hockey club misbehaved. I was dressing them down, picking them up from a sport event. And there's total silence in the bus because they realise they've done the wrong thing. And as I pull out of the car park, I dent the bus. And there's total silence. There's not a word. So there's enough respect and I'm going, yeah, right. <laughs> this, this is a good outcome. And we drive along and there's total silence. Next day I'm driving the bus and uh, this little musical tune starts appearing at the back of the bus. And um, somewhere in the chorus, my name starts appearing. And the chorus gets slightly louder and louder. And I was, the chorus was Emperor Smash the Bus. That song uh, travelled forward for 10 years. And every time a staff person did something wrong, he added a new, new chorus. I think it's the friendships they make. Um, and yes, you know, we might get pretty competitive on the field, but off the field it has become one big happy family again. I think from 2005 now to, uh, to the uh, 2011 games, it was my last games of course, I think the, the professionalism of, of the event, uh, the competition, I think uh, the students go for and, and attend for a number of different reasons uh, on many different levels, some, some go of course for the, the social aspects of it and uh, of late I think that the competitiveness of, of the games has certainly increased and, uh, and something our, our students really look forward to. It's the whole, the whole, whole um, experience is a, is a good one. Um, it's the camaraderie you get amongst your team, but just also meeting other students. Um, it's, it's fun off, off the field, but also a lot of fun on the field. They really take a, you know, it's a friendly rivalry. We hope that the University Games for Wollongong is going to grow again. We've got a new Vice-Chancellor, very keen on sport, and you know, we think the future is pretty bright.